finance blessing my father taught me take my words to your heart follow my commands and you will be like get wisdom develop good judgment don't forget my words or turn away from them proverbs 4 4 and 5 this is an important time of year it's a time to look toward the future and plan for the coming year 2019 that makes it a great time to start in a faith for your finances to declare that this year will be different from the past here are four confessions and 10 bible verses to start on for your finances in the new year 2018 and 19 read them memorize them confess them meditate on them and ask the holy spirit to illuminate their meanings in your life so that this coming year truly can be better than the past lord by your grace i am a trustworthy person i know that you are graciously supply everything i need number 1 luke 16 11 if you are untrustworthy about worldly wealth who will trust you with the true riches of heaven number 2 philippians 4 verses 19 the same god who takes care of me will supply all your needs from his glorious riches which have been given to us in christ jesus number 3 2 corinthians 9 verses 8 god will generously provide all you need then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others Number 4 Proverbs 21 verses 20 The wise have wealth and luxury but fools spend whatever they get Number 5 Romans 13 verses 8 Owe nothing to anyone except for your obligation to love one another If you love your neighbor you will fulfill the requirements of God's law Number 6 Proverbs 22 verses 7 Just as the rich rule the poor So the borrower is servant to the lender. Number 7. Luke 6 verses 38. Give and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full, pressed down, shaken together to make room for more, running over, poured into your lap. The amount you give will determine the amount you get back. Number 8. Proverbs 3 verses 9 to 10. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce. then he will fill your barns with grain and your vats with overflow with good wine number 9 malachi 3 verses 8 to 10 should people cheat god yet you have cheated me but you ask what do you mean when did we ever cheat you you have cheated me of the tithes and offerings due to me you are under a curse for your whole nation has been cheating me bring all the tithes into the storehouse so there will be enough food in my temple if you do says the lord of heaven's armies i will open the windows of heaven for you i will pour out a blessing so great you won't have enough room to take it in try it put me to the test number 10 jeremiah 17 verses 7 to 8 blessed are those who trust in the lord and have made the lord their hope and confidence they are like trees planted along a river bank with roots that reach deep into the water Such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you, my friends.